In this video, we will introduce you to the new dispersion feature added to the V-Ray material in V-Ray for Rhino. With the new dispersion feature, you can now quickly achieve more realistic glass, water, and gem materials. First, let's take a look at this diamond scene to show you exactly why dispersion is important. The diamond has a V-Ray material applied to it, and we have not yet enabled the dispersion feature. So, the material only has reflection and refraction layers with the index of refraction value set for a typical diamond. Let's render the scene. The result is acceptable for most cases, but the image is not as realistic as it could be. What we are missing here is a subtle and natural lighting effect called dispersion. Dispersion is the separation of light into several colors that happens when light passes through a refractive surface. Let's simply enable the dispersion feature and render the scene again. Now you can clearly see the color separation in the refraction. These results are more realistic. Glass, water, and gem materials all produce unique dispersion results. The Abbey parameter allows you to control the strength of the dispersion to create unique dispersion results. In general, lower Abbey values produce more separation between the dispersed colors, while larger values produce less separation. To demonstrate this, let's change the Abbey value to 10 and re-render the scene to examine the result. As you can see, there is clearly more separation between the dispersed colors. Keep in mind that each material has a unique dispersion result. You should adjust the Abbey value on a material by material basis. This image has dispersion and caustics enabled. We have also used the proper IOR value for water and adjusted the Abbey value to achieve the desired result. As you can see, the new dispersion feature is easy to set up, and you can now achieve more realistic glass, water, and gem materials. We hope you enjoy this powerful new feature of V-Ray for Rhino.